Well, hello there, and welcome to Roland's Reviews. Well then, we've spent the last two episodes on Tatooine. And to be honest, I can't stand the heat on that planet. Not only has it got two blistering suns, it's the sand, it's so coarse, and it gets everywhere and I've got the urge to go somewhere a bit more chilled out. You know, wintry, frosty even. And if you're Luke Skywalker and siding with the rebels, just remember, the Empire aren't too happy with your latest antics. Because you've just destroyed their clubhouse. So, the Empire's hot on your tail and you need to lie low. And if you want to make a surprise visit, don't be coming out of hyperdrive too early because we hate surprises. So grab your coat, my friends, because we're off to the sixth planet of the Hoth system. And in this episode, I'll treat you to a double whammy. Double whammy. Because we're going to be taking a look at the turret probot playset and the Imperial Attack Base from the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Vintage Kenner Line. Okay then, let's have a look at the box is. Oh, and as you can see, I don't actually have boxes for these playsets. I'm going to have to scour the internet to find the box descriptions. Let's kick off with the turret and probot playset. And it says here, defend your secret rebel base with a clicking gun turret. Really? Really of Ham, being discovered by Darth Vader's Probot Spy. Make Probot Spy fall and action figure turn with this action lever. Turret's doors and hatch open to place action figures. And now, the Imperial Attack Base. Defend Imperial Attack Base with Laser Machine Gun. Yeah, this one clicks too. Simulate battle action with the Landmine. I can't remember that being in the film. Pretend you detonate the snow bridge. Why not just actually detonate the snow bridge? And create battle action with remote levers. Because we're looking at multiple playsets today, I'm leaving the choice up to you. If you're siding with the Rebels today, just press the television on the left to watch the turret and probot playset. Or if you're loyal to the Empire, click the TV on the right to watch the Imperial Attack Base playset. So click now. I'm sorry, did you think that would actually work? I just like to keep you on your toes and keep things interactive. Anyway, let's watch this one first. Chewie, an Imperial Probot is searching for the Rebel base. It's Kenner's turret and Probot playset. You have to put it together. Let's check it out, Chewbacca. <laughs> keep me covered with our laser cannon. Action figures each sold separately. You can move Han Solo with the action lever and knock out the Probot. We got him, Chewie! Yay! But now they know where we are. Turret and Probot playset from Kenner's Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. Are we all ready then? Good. Well, let's get this snow on the road. The year is 1980, and it seems the whole world has gone Star Wars mad. Just listen to this bloke. And the prestige of being able to save scenes Star Wars is something akin to royalty, really. And following up, from George Lucas's smash success Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back is released globally. And this time, Kenner are waiting in the wings, ready to push out their new toy line for The Empire Strikes Back. And in their first wave of products, Kenner seemed to favour the ice planet of Hoth. I mean, there were a lot of Hoth toys. A lot. Before the year was over, they pushed out the Rebel Snowspeeder, the Tauntaun, Hoth Han Solo, Rebel Hoth Soldier, you had Hoth Leia, and the guy from Cheers. 
I mean the Rebel Commander. And on the Imperial side, we have the Snow Trooper and the Atat Driver with nothing to drive. A completely disproportional amount of figures compared to the Rebel side. Kenner really must have liked the opening sequences in The Empire Strikes Back. Either that, or they must have over-ordered on their white plastic for their factories. And that's not to mention these other two Hoth playsets released later on in the series. I didn't have these playsets as a child, but a lot of my friends did. Let's have a closer look at this lovely white slab of plastic. It came packaged with the turret, and here's the Probot, which is only available with this set. It's very, very easy to assemble yourself. And once you start adding your thermal wrapped action figures, this set really starts to warm up. Okay then, let's have a look at this set's first action feature. And I've got a bad feeling about this. I think this probot is going to give me some trouble. Right, let's just pop him on his post. Stay there, steady, stay, no, no, oh! Come on, get on there. No, 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 uh, no, oh. Hold on, I've got an idea. What about a blue tack anal probe for our probot? Okay, Han, are you ready? Here we go. Oh, and again. No, oh, I, I think it's too much. It's, it's too much blue tack. It's too much blue tack. Okay, this should do it. Hey, bloody hell. They made it look a lot more easier in the film. Right, Chewy? Obviously, over the years, this little peg and socket have worn away. Now, let's see how the turret action features fare up. So, we can swing open the turret door and place an action figure inside. There's nothing really special in there, but I guess it's nice and warm. Flip open the top hatch and slide in your figure and blast your clicking sounds to the oncoming Imperial Walkers. Time to accessorize. Displaying this set with Tauntauns is a given and you can really take some liberties when using this snowy base to set up scenes from the movie. He's angry and he's hairy and he's really pissed off with Luke Skywalker. Wampa! And hey Luke, you've got an incoming call from a deceased Jedi. You better get your ass to Dagobah. And we all know Tauntaun smell bad on the inside. Right Han? And once you start adding your vehicles and mini rigs to this little set, it really does put the icing on the cake. Join me after the advert, because winter's coming. We gotta knock out the command post. Come on! From Kenner's Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection, new Imperial attack base that you put together. Stormtroopers behind that gun! Chewbacca, New Han, Solo, and Imperial Stormtrooper action figures each sold separately. You can press the ice levers to pretend the mine explodes. You okay? Yeah! And make the bridge fall. That was close. Command was in sight. Fire! Nice job! Imperial attack base from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back collection. Action figures each sold separately. New from Kenner. The Imperial attack base. This comes packaged with a command center swiveling laser cannon and the ice bridge. Okay, let's imperialize this ice base. It's just a shame that my snow troopers look a bit pissy yellow against a nice white shiny backdrop. And as you may notice, none of these guys have their original capes. So let's blast off with its first action feature. Yes, this cannon also clicks. Nice working swivel action. Looks really good. Let's create some destruction with the remote battle action levers. And it's the command center first. Sorry Darth, it's nothing personal. Nice. Now let's take a look at the battle action landmines. With a little press of the button, this activates nicely. And now, my personal favourite, 
detonating the snow bridge. And I'm not pretending on this one. Isn't that right, General Veers? It's a tad tricky to balance the two pieces of the bridge, but the devastation it creates is well worth it. And again, accompanying your Empire Strikes Back mini rigs to this set, readies our Imperials for the oncoming battle. Okay, let's have a look at some other display options. Here's one I like. This is a deleted scene from the movie. The Hoth Wampa decides to make an unannounced visit. But that's okay, this will sort out our uninvited guest. Anyway, it's a bit of an oddity, this Imperial attack base, because in the movie, Darth Vader's forces, they never set up a base on planet Hoth. This clearly could be used as the interior of the rebel base, and once you switch your stormtroopers for rebels, the scenario changes. For example, this little section here could be utilised as the rebel attack trench for the oncoming battle. And what about using the ice cave for this heated romantic confrontation? And how about adding these two guys? Place them in and you can turn your command center into a medical bay. Are you okay now, Luke? Comparing these two play sets side by side, it becomes obvious that Kenner produced both sets for the Rebel Alliance. But during development, it became apparent that our Imperial force didn't have a base, and the Imperial AT-80 hadn't been released yet, so they needed to go somewhere. Well, that's my theory anyway. I've had these sets for about 15 years, and yes, they were bought from eBay. Both sets have kept their shiny whiteness, because they do tend to yellow over time. Each set is wonderfully sculpted, showing off its icy goodness. The action features are great, because they focus on battle and destruction. And if you're a vintage Star Wars collector, I would put both these playsets at the top of your list. And considering on how many figures, vehicles and mini rigs were released for the Hoth system, it's easy to display them all together. That's if you have the room. So don't get left out in the cold, because if you're able to pick up both of these playsets, it's a no-brainer. Put them all together and they just look Hoth. Fantastic. Do you like talking about all things Star Wars? Because I do. And if you do, why not join the Pally Boys live stream? Two hours of Star Wars chat every weeknight from 8pm till 10. So just come and check us out at Blue Harvest How to Collect Toys channel. Come along, don't be scared. We're all really nice here. I lie, I've got a wheelbarrow wheel. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> Cheers for watching this episode. And remember to like, comment and subscribe. Stay safe and may the force be with you. You can take your coat off now. <laughs>